Good morning, art friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Why, hello there. So, guys, we want to thank, as always, our Patreon uh, family for their support over there. Indeed, thank you so much. And we'll start over here. We see uh, breaking news. Pakistan's cabinet has decided to end the standoff with Iran that saw bo both countries exchange missiles and drone strikes this weekend. Islamabad has approved the reestablishment of full diplomatic relations with Iran. This has felt weird the entire time, honestly, because I do expect them really to be on the same side in the conflict coming. Of course, you know, puppets come, puppets go, and there's always egos involved. But there's also other things that could be involved, too. Like, uh, you know, just throwing out there that in both countries, there could be um, sleeper cells or military units from, say, Israel, United States, UK, France, yeah, others, as well as even just various groups of contractors uh, that might have their own agendas or be working for somebody. And, you know, again, uh, the cover stories are not always the real story. But, you know, even just mobilization in, in these times, again, you have armies around the globe mobilizing. So maybe this was all part of a, a ruse to mobilize. It, it, now, I'm not getting anything totally clear. I just feel deception going on. And I don't know if Cindy gets anything uh, as well. Well, I, I always go when, when we're dealing with this stuff, um, I go with your gut because you have this powerful ability to read the patterns in the 3D when it comes to war and the energy of what's going on. So I definitely go with you. It is, I mean, it does feel like a, a, a cover-up, um, but I, I wouldn't be able to come to those conclusions as easily without you pointing it out because I, I just don't read the 3D news very well. Yeah, I think governments will make things look like one thing when they're absolutely 180 degrees the other. And I do still anticipate you will see... Um, a unification of sorts of many different uh, Islamic nations coming together as, you know, the story in Gaza keeps coming out. But looking over here, this is another thing that the guides showed us. And in and, and remote viewing uh, 2035, we saw there were no airplane flights in the sky. None. Zero. No airplanes in the sky. Here you have a Atlas Air. This is a cargo um, plane from Miami International Airport. It catches fire mid-air, uh, as we see here, and had to come and do an emergency landing. It turns out that it had a hole above its engine about softball size. What made it? Uh oh look at the time. 3.33. Uh -oh. You can't make this stuff up. I just noticed this. I didn't notice this before <laughs> making the video. 3.33. This has their timestamps all over it. And Cindy really said uh, her first thing was, I wonder if they used a laser to punch a hole in it. I know. That is the first thing that came to me. It's like, how do you get a softball size hole and then somebody misses it and... You know, we always have to play the game. Is it possible? So is it possible that there are technologies out there that could do these things? That they could camouflage themselves and it could do it midair? Are, are these technologies, um, is it, you know, is it possible? And they do, Absolutely. they definitely <laughs> keep a lot from us. Yeah. You know, this, it, when she's saying... Is it possible? I'm screaming absolutely. And I know a lot of you guys know that too. Again, all these, we could go all the way back to biblical times. These acts of God are actually acts of the gods are actually acts of the real control system behind the system, which, you know, I, I still go and think that the power structure shifted into uh, its current manifestation about 5,000 years ago, according to my calculations and, and what feels about right. Um, I think there was a transitory period before that that probably goes back to the Younger Dryas where it was a, a slow, gradual takeover by certain uh, groups. Let's just call them, well, let's make the, the biblical um, 
perspective people happy and we well, could call them the nephilim but in reality again it's it's the draconian anunnaki and ai uh takeover uh, ijiji you know again those those sumerian stories have a lot of truth in them yet they are still spoken of you know from the perspective of the controllers taking over there's nothing that in in, in any tradition uh, unfortunately and this is where we have to use our discernment there's no uh there's no holy books that haven't been touched every holy book has been touched quote unquote by the system every single one of them so this is where we have to every single one of them of major imp, Im, impact and you know if it's been read by millions and millions and millions then chances are there's something in there that has been distorted because again this is a massive ai driven control system that literally is, is running its numbers and always coming up with the possibilities of things going wrong and then they go and they address it so a lot of times they will understand that there's a, a high likelihood that they could lose control of humanity over something that gets revealed so they have contingency plans that go in and take care of that you know for what if basically and and this is what we see here we have obviously this is a hot topic texas attorney general defies biden says texas will continue to ban the federal agents from the border so you know this is something that i'm finding a lot of disinformation out there over this subject um, some tweets that were actually very old are being brought up as looking new and like other states are coming together right now uh, to support texas against the feds these tweets were actually um, about the time when other states were sending help down to texas to help with the border not directly just against the feds but just against the migrant inflow um so th what they want to do is absolutely they they want they want total total complete chaos on every level they they want like an insurrection they want a civil war a revolution this is all part of their plan the control controllers i i was just wondering with those tweets i mean what time frame were those in how long ago about M months and months ago months and um months, months and months ago because I, I, I one of them was involving arkansas national guard um and you know i went and looked at all the all the official tweets from arkansas.gov and and all the new ones like the last activation of national guard was because the weather um, it wasn't because, you know, it, they were necessarily coming down to, to Texas. But then again, we have to keep keep looking, you know, and you have to understand that, you know, in the minds of so many already, the Civil War has been underway for a long time. But that is all part of the bigger plan. Then we have uh, this. Now, uh, somebody said, you know, Biden hasn't sound sounded this clear and concise in a long time now biden did say he did make a reference and it was something that got brought up that if you wanted to have a civil war or an insurrection you would have to use f-15s and n-u-k-e-s's but this is making its rounds too as a hot mic you know did he just say this well Again, some of the clones or actors look a little bit healthier and more with it than others. Some look like they are just ready for the white padded cell. Going to make sure those cowboys don't stop the surge of military aid men from Earth. If we have to send F-15s to Texas here and raise war against Texas, it shall be. Going to make sure those cowboys don't stop the surge of military aid men from Earth. If we have to send F-15s to Texas here and raise war against Texas, it shall be. Going to make sure those cowboys don't stop the surge of military aid men from Earth. If we have to send F-15s to Texas here and raise war against Texas, it shall be. So uh, hopefully you guys could make that out. You know, he just talks about, you know, sending military aid and, and hoping those cowboys down in Texas don't uh, stop it if we have to send F-15s to Texas and so be it. You know, again, they're, they're trying 
uh, to start this. And and this is they want this to be in place before uh, the actual takeover comes, uh, which will come again from certainly Russia and China, as well as other nations that are already in place again look at all the reports and and we have family members that have gotten from friends and relatives on the border first-hand reports where they have seen a lot of what looks to be uh chinese military uh, on on our side of you know the ground here at, along the borderline but we know china bought up a whole bunch of land, hundreds of thousands of acres across the U.S., and they bought up big stretches right on the border, right where we have these issues. And we've seen cases where the Texas National Guard has said no, um, you know, push people back, and then the owner of the land has gotten the uh, the feds to basically come overrule and open up and allow them in. And here you see the chairman, congressman, GT, and GO, um, GOP oversight chairman uh, Comer stating, growing foreign ownership of U.S. farmland, particularly by China, poses a direct threat to our food security and national security. Safe, safeguarding our farmland and food supply requires a whole government approach, and et cetera, et cetera. You know, it's way too late now. Uh, <laughs> of course, we don't want to stop, but we have to realize, it, you know, the the horses are out of the barn. They're way out of the barn. So it's a matter of, of looking and seeing what, what horses are in sight. Where can we gather them and, and create better structures to be able to feed ourselves? Because, you know, this is all so, uh, so late in the game and look at that number one farmland owner and understand the bigger picture as you know many people have talked about gil bates as we refer to him and he's still continued to buy up prime farmland and he's not going to farm on it he's going to let it sit why because they don't want us eating healthy food that's just the simple fact they don't want us being self-sufficient uh, no, no, they need us very sick and they need us to be um, unable to think for ourselves. They need us indoctrinated. And the last thing they need is for anyone to do anything on their own or any type of critical thinking. That's just not a good idea for them. So you have, again, rumors, rumors and more rumors, uh, scenes that are circulating of ballistic missiles transported to the southwestern Iranian border now southeastern is the border with Pakistan this would be more in lines with you know getting them into position to strike Israel or anything over towards the Red Sea and, and that area um, I do think there's a lot of ploys uh, underway right now do the generals understand the bigger picture the generals in Iran the generals in Russia China uh, US UK uh, I'll, there's probably a lot that, that don't really get it, um, that are kept in the dark, and they, they totally buy the nationalistic thing, and you know they think that they are doing their job. Certainly when you get down to uh, lower than that level, I do think most of the military personnel totally have bought things hook, line, and sinker. Yes, there's always awakened people within uh, the power structures, but usually an awakened person is going to get out of it. Um, and some, and you know, our, we have a favorite uncle that is, I'm sure, listening in. Uh, hi, Uncle Joe. It, you know, there are some within power structures that want to bring about change, even the deepest, darkest power structures that there is. And this change will not come through more uh, death, destruction, and chaos. You know, um, there was a great question posed by somebody and we'll address it more on heart's home because it's more of a spiritual nature it has to do with the Bhagavad Gita and you know again as as I've said uh, I think again every single thing that we have in this world has been touched by the dark system and distorted and we really really have to use our own discernment uh, to feel into what is true and correct so I, I do not believe that there is any one item that's written down that's truly the exact word of the creator of this universe i don't think that exists 
because each one of us, for instance, is looking uh, through our own lens at the world. So my lens and Cindy's lens, even though we are in agreement most of the time, is not exact. And, and it's not meant to be. It, this is the point. You are, you have disagreements with your spouse, your brother, your sister, your family. Of course. We're all unique. We're not going to see it exactly the same way. It's a system that tries to, instead of saying, let's agree to disagree, the system says you must conform. But now you could conform into being a capitalist or you could conform into being a, a fascist or a communist or a socialist. It's all their terms. How about, you know, being yourself instead of taking on any one uh, way of looking at things that they want you to? You know, when it comes to to disagreements, um, we, we can go down that road a couple different ways, but it is up to us which road you want to go down. If you come to a disagreement with someone, you can look at that as expansion. And you can take in this information and see if anything is useful. And if there's a transfer of information, hopefully there is, maybe you're helping that person expand their world too. But from what I see with the... Uh, with the control grid structure, they want to make sure that people are blinded by their disagreements. So therefore there is no, there is no expansion. It, it's just rage and anger and that really limits us. So I think with our day to day, whenever we're dealing with someone or talking with someone, if there's something to be disagreed upon, you know, look at that. This information didn't come to you by accident, you know, and that brings me into uh, light workers, light anchors, wherever you're at, it's so important that you are there. And wherever you're fixing to go, it's important that you have a path to that area too. But just trust that you're there to anchor your light. And when I say anchor your light, I mean your information, the knowledge that you carry, the understanding that you carry, you don't even have to say anything. You carry that vibration automatically. Just be your best self. That's how you be a light anchor. Meanwhile, Russia oil depot on fire after an attempted Ukrainian drone attack. And yeah, there's uh, videos too. I mean, just the toxins that are being released into the air again. You know, it's, it's time to realize that the average... Russian citizen, the average Ukrainian, the average wherever you are, it's the average people that are paying the biggest price as the only ones that benefit from this is the control system. And as long as we fall in line with their hatred uh, towards each other, we're just feeding the control system. We have to get past that. Uh, you know, as you see, Moscow blames Paris for the deaths of the French mercenaries. All this is in, it, it's all about getting us to the point where everybody is, is off to, to off the other. And, and we must rise above it. The one thing that does come consistently through uh, in the Sanatana Dharma, in, in these traditions, is that if you really want to ascend to a totally different frequency, um, it's good to remove yourself from anything that lowers your frequency. So why do we keep doing this? Because we're here, you know, basically to, we've made the decision, we're gonna come in, we're gonna help people through the darkest times. We could just talk nothing but light and love and and help a certain percentage of people, but we're really here to try to awaken those that aren't awakened. And then those that are awakened and still have other you know questions, we're here to answer the questions that we can answer as best as we can. Um, if you are you know at that point in, in, in your spiritual development where you can detach yourself from the system and that's what you want to focus on, which many of our, our regulars are at that point. There, there's many of our regulars that we meet with uh, every couple weeks, once a week, once every month, etc., whenever they need us to, but, but on a consistent basis um, that don't necessarily follow every one of our videos. Uh, and, and no, they might only look at Hearts Home or they might only look at the ones that are you know, exposing the hidden history, but don't don't look at any of the news because they don't want to see the news because they understand what's happening. They get it. 
and they just want to focus on on building themselves spiritually and you know maybe go into into those deep dives on uh our hidden history so you know here you have this is this is just something to make note ukrainian men denied public health care unless they report for the draft this is going to be exactly uh the case with all the other things there there will be uh some sort of universal basic income for people but you got to take part in all the system you will be maybe even provided a free apartment somewhere in a nice, you know, 15 minute city. But you have to take part in all of the system. You might get uh, absolved of all your debts, Kesara Nesara, but you have to take part in every aspect of the system if you get what. Uh, I'm trying to get across there. So, you know, yeah, there are a lot of channels that are putting out their light and fluff. Don't worry. You know, Draco are gone. There's no Draco influence. It's just an illusion. Uh, no, that's not the case. We could see them still. They're still here. We can see them. We can see them puppeting the, the leaders still. So to say that is it, you're following somebody that is, is just giving you what you want to hear instead of somebody that's telling you like it really is yeah yeah i mean we have to deal with life on life's terms period you you can't just pretend that these beings are not here and then they go away because you can obviously see the laws that continue to get put in place day after day after day are not being put in place by you know by the shining ones <laughs> they're being put in place by those reptilians and those dracos so they are here and they are very active and i think it is quite dangerous to ignore it because if you ignore it you're there that's just going to allow them to roll on through with everything with absolutely no pushback and they're, they're going to have their world created without you know without any problems for them they don't want any problems so i mean so to have someone actually get up there and say oh they're gone you know to me i i just i think that's dangerous i just do it is dangerous it, you know again it, it's the waiting for the savior to take care of everything for me syndrome which leads to humanity not really taking any action of their own um because we had to get out of the system they control us through the money system as you see this the death rate in gaza shatters that of all other 21st century wars and it's being vastly underreported vastly underreported i think it's 10 to 100 times what they say it is it's it's so shocking that you know it is going to bring about a unification of virtually uh, the majority of the world and it's going to march the most massive army you've ever seen into the obliteration of Israel and and the NATO countries this is what they are doing this is just one of those triggers that they're doing uh, to to bring about this destruction before 2025 and why why 2025 again because there's treaties that humanity doesn't know of and and people have said well show me that treaty <laughs> yeah you know you're behind enemy lines you're behind enemy lines the control system is in charge here so many light workers are placed in parts where uh, they're going to have an effect you now somebody else said uh talked about leaving south florida and yeah you know i mean when i got to sarasota in that area that felt so amazing to me the energy the weather love the weather um yet you know we we can choose to override the higher self it, it is something that happens all the time in fact i i don't i think it's unusual when we really achieve everything the higher self wants us to achieve um and often we we are blocked from hearing the higher self uh, clearly now some higher selves have knowingly taken incarnations to be placed right in the middle of where all chaos is going to be and i'm not saying that there's going to be that type of chaos in florida but i have had visions that were specific to florida and i do think the guides were coming through to me and and telling me okay well you know if it's your choice because you're in the body you're using the body as a vehicle if you stay there just know 
um, it's going to be challenging at certain times. As, as I saw a mass exodus of humanity um, from Florida up the peninsula, trying to get away from the war that was happening farther down south, um, timelines can change. Maybe that won't happen that way. Um, but yet at the same time, I do feel Florida and Texas are, are major, major targets. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's, it's not always the purpose to live to 100 or 120. It really isn't. Sometimes, you know, the purpose is to come in and maybe, you know, leave life at a very young age in order to affect somebody else that's going to have a big impact on more people. This is part of, of the bigger picture that we're not really privy to um, unless you know, we're able to go deep and to hook into and connect to the higher self and the bigger scheme of things. Here you have families of Israeli prisoners in Gaza blocking the main road in Tel Aviv as a sign of protest. There's protests going on all around the world. Now they understand humanity is going to be waking up in droves. Uh, and Cindy keeps getting messages uh, that the awakening can't be stopped. The awakening can't be stopped. And, and we will be covering that more on Heart's Home as well. Again, every video goes up on Patreon. Realize that more than two-thirds of Congress cashed a pharma campaign check in 2020. This is why, you know, you can't reform the system. The system is built to be corrupt. And it doesn't matter whether we're talking U.S., U.K., Russia, China, any of the nations. The system is built to be corrupt. The, the, the lone wolf rogue leaders that try to do something in small countries that's outside of the system, you know what happens. And meanwhile, Japan joins five other countries in simulating a touchdown on the moon. Ah, yeah, it, you know, again, they want us to, to think certain things, but part of what they also understand is you have other people that believe that, you know, I guess they believe no planet is, is a round sphere, maybe. I mean, uh, you know, for the flat earthers out there, do you think that there are any planets that are actually uh, roundish, you know, spherical and, and rotating? Or do you think that every single planet is flat? Do you think that we are the only planet? There's no life out there. Again, you know, they understand people are going to go to one extreme, the other extreme. And it's great for them because in the extremes, we miss the bigger picture. Just like with Ecuador, you, you know, remember Ecuador was one of those you know, countries having issues, every country has issues, but, and pretty much every country has hidden gems, like look at these, you know, you could see what's under there. Yeah, our history is buried underneath the ground. Our, our history is not what we've been told. And often, uh, civil unrest, wars, are all about making sure that anything that's left over that can give us a clue to what really happened gets wiped out. Uh, and gets buried under piles of rubble. Well, they don't even want people touching it. They don't even want people like physically laying their eyes on it because the DNA development, it you know, it acts in several different ways. You can get these activations from afar, but there is something to say about being there physically to touch the earth. So for them to either destroy or make it so that other people simply cannot go there, you know, it's just part of what they're doing to to stop, stop the awakening. And there's um, a lot of different tactics that they utilize, you know, but that's why we are here. We're here to help guide people through those different trails and through the you know turbulation so that people might have a focus so they can work on their awakening without you know being so darn confused because it can be very a very bumpy ride you know things go on in the human body that you know we don't learn about in school they don't teach us in kindergarten that you're going to go through some type of kundalini awakening in this lifetime and what happens when when that happens because it can be quite traumatic and they, they really create a lot of trauma for people because that's what makes it such a bumpy ride is, is that, that trauma and then the awakening on top of that. So um, there's, there's a lot of work to be done and there's a lot of uh, 
mysteries to be uncovered and there is a lot of understanding that needs to be had. Mm -hmm. So when we look at this and we see uh, a a rather kind gentleman taking care of a kitty, um, just want to bring back that awareness to that they use the carrot and the stick time and time again after the world is exhausted with wars and all sorts of calamities they plan on bringing out the maybe not a carrot maybe cupcakes maybe all sorts of amazing looking things from amazing looking technology the promise of healing uh, cancers and this and that with the technology that our our new friends that have come from nibiru are going to offer etc etc yeah you know all you got to do is is buy into all of the system so we're going through that stick period where it's going to be very very tough then they plan on on bringing out the carrots and trying to uh, draw you into the system again because so many people are going to be so tired of the system this is what we're going through now then then we're going to be tired of war-torn countries all over the globe and all the calamities that we're going through that they will again try the other side of it it's it's the good cop bad cop and this is exactly how they operate so they will tempt us later on to have the easy life well maybe you only have to work three days a week six hours a day everything will be taken care of for you no rent no this no that etc etc universal basic income all your health care oh by the way you know we understand that people had uh, their immune systems destroyed because of something you, you guys know why right well again all, all everything will be provided for you you just gotta come in and embrace all of the smart city living indeed source bless and namaste namaste